Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you are new, my name is Arina and if you are coming back, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Full Color Red Wine Liquid Blusher. I have all four shades with me. So if you are interested to know the swatches and also my thoughts on it, keep on watching. So this blusher is available in four different shades and from the website it claims to have a matte finish for all the four shades and you can get it for RM7 40 cent but the price differ depend on where you get it claims to last up to 12 hours it is hydrating, lightweight, blends evenly, easy to apply and very pigmented. I already have a full face of makeup but I haven't set my cheek area where I want to place the blusher because sometimes powder can interfere with the liquid blusher performance. I'm going to apply it with a dry sponge and this is the pink flash sponge because today I just want to play around with it and learn more about the formula. And also from my previous experience, this blusher is super pigmented. You only need a little and a little goes a long way. This is how the box looks like. It has a blush pink and also white color on the box and with the cute gold wording and the shade name is on the top. The first shade is B01 Tequila and from the website it is described as deep pink with a little bit of a rose tone. I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand and see how this color show up. This is what it looks like. I'm going to wait until it dries down and show you guys again. And now I'm going to swatch it on my cheeks using the dry sponge. I'm just going to put one dot here and blend it out. This is what the shade tequila looks on my cheek after I blend it out using the dry sponge. I am going to try to build up the shade but this time I am going to put some product on my hand and then pick it up using the sponge before I blend it. So just gonna do that and concentrate the product on the sponge and put that on my cheek. This formula does dry down quite fast. You have only little time to blend it out. So I think both techniques work. So the blusher that I swatched at the back of my hand almost dry but I hope you can tell that there are some gold glitter suspended and it's quite a lot but on the cheeks it doesn't look as prominent as on the swatch. I don't know if you're able to see or not but yeah I think you can see when I turn my head like this you're able to see that there's some glitter plastic particles suspended. The next shade is Sherry. Again I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand first before applying it on my cheeks. So this is what the shade Sherry like against my hand and on the website it is described as a classic pumpkin orange suitable for all skin tone so this shade is a matte shade it doesn't have any glitter suspended which is nice and the consistency is the same as the previous shade which is quite thick and concentrated so the same thing i'm going to apply it on this cheek first i start with around one dot i'm going to use the same sponge but on different side and blend it out And this is how it looks like. I'm going to build up the concentration by again applying at the back of my hand first and pick it up using this sponge. So this is what the shade Sherry looks on my cheek and this is how it looks like swatch at the back of my hand. As you can see, I overly applied this shade accidentally. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and just go over on top. So to tone it down. This one also has the same amount of play time. You really have to work it on your skin uh, very fast before it dry down or else it will stick to one area and you won't be able to blend it out. So this is what those two shades look on my shade side by side. This is again the shade Sherry and this is in the shade Tequila. Tequila has a berry tone and also a pink tone color whereas the shade Sherry is more on the orangey shade. So far the consistency and the formula of these two are the same except for Tequila it has gold glitter suspended. The 
next shade is Bordeaux BO3 and it is described as Vitality Bright Orange. So I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand first. So I hope you can see the difference on the consistency between these two formula and this formula that I just swatched. This one feels and looks more watery and liquidy and not as opaque as these two shades. So I'm going to apply it on this cheek about one dot and the same thing using the dry sponge to blend it out. Okay, it's already blended. This one is super easy to blend it because the formula is not as concentrated. So you really have enough time to play around with it and blend it out on your skin before it dries down. Okay, this is what the shade Bordeaux BO3 looks on my cheeks. As you can see, it is not as intense as the first two shades which is Sherry and Tequila. And this is what it looks like swatched and like almost dry at the back of my hand. Actually, it has a micro glitters scattered throughout the formula but it is not as intense as the shade Tequila which is the first shade and once you apply it on your cheeks it doesn't translate onto your, the cheeks which is nice probably most of the glitter are attached on this sponge where I used to blend it out and this color is more on the salmony side because it does have peach tone and also pink tone in it the last shade is B04 Pink Lady a very light pink shade and I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand first. This is what the shade looks like. As you can see, it's very light and I'm curious how it looks like against my medium skin tone. And the formula feels the same as the previous one which is Bordeaux. It's not as thick or concentrated as the first two shades. Yeah, it's a watery formula like, like the Bordeaux shade. Because this formula is thin and liquidy, I am, I'm not afraid to apply more because it does blend out seamlessly because of the thin formula. So yeah, this is what the, what the shade looks like, one layer. Against my medium skin tone, it's, it is not as obvious. So I'm going to build up like tiny dot and just blend it out. And I think it pairs well with the eye makeup and also the clothes I'm wearing today and the hijab. So this is what the shade Pink Lady looks on my cheeks and on the website it is described as gentle light pink for the ladies who have fair skin tone which I am agree with. So yeah, this is the shade Pink Lady look on this cheek and this is the shade Bordeaux look on this cheek. Pink Lady also have some uh, gold glitter scattered throughout but it is not as obvious as Tequila. If I were to rank the concentration of glitter in the formulas, the first one being the one that have the most glitter is the shade Tequila and then number two is Pink Lady and the least glittery shade is this Bordeaux shade and this Sherry shade is the true matte shade with no glitter. So I'm just going to leave my makeup like this and let's jump into the review. So with this formula, you have to play around with it, especially the more concentrated formula, the first two shades, which is tequila and also sherry. Because it has a thick formula at the same time, it dries down super fast. You have to work in quickly before it dries down because uh, I find it quite hard to blend out because of the thickness. They don't have the same formula, like the formula is not consistent because the last two shades has a watery and liquidy formula which makes it easy to blend out and have enough play time. I think they made it like that because this is just my theory. The first two matte shades uh, will suit those who have oily skin and the two liquidy shades will, will suit those who have dry skin. They are different colors with different formula. In terms of longevity, I will update you guys on the description box so be sure to check on that. So far, I am liking the formula especially the more liquidy shades, these two down here because it is easy to work with and it is not as bright as these two shades. Also, this liquid blushers has a slight bubble gummy scent but it is not noticeable because you have to really put your nose very close to the product to be able to smell it. So thank you so much for watching until the end. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I appreciate if you can subscribe because I do a lot of makeup tutorial reviews and hauls. 
Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope I see you guys in my next one. Bye. Assalamualaikum.